Republican leaders and right-leaning media on Tuesday promoted the use of protective masks to a degree yet unseen during the coronavirus pandemic, casting them as crucial to facilitating an economic reopening while contending with President Donald Trump's continued reluctance to cover his face in public. The abrupt shift in conservative thought, which coincides with a surge of COVID-19 cases nationwide, reflects both overwhelming popular opinion and the Universal Council of Health Experts on the subject of masks. But the new line of messaging also breaks with a president who has called into question the efficacy of face coverings and contributed to their politicization across American culture. That tension was apparent early Tuesday, when a traditionally friendly messenger targeted Trump with an appeal from the set of his favorite morning cable news show. I think that if the president wore one, it would just set a good example. He'd be a good role model. I don't see any downside to the president wearing a mask in public, said Fox and Friends co-host Steve Ducey during an interview with Ronna McDaniel, chair of the Republican National Committee. Ducey went on to pitch the party chief an updated play on Trump's signature campaign slogan. MAGA should now stand for masks are great again. Let me give you some marketing advice right there, he told McDaniel. The request from Ducey, whom Trump has reportedly ranked as a 12 on a 1 to 10 loyalty scale of Fox News correspondents, came just hours after another of the network stars, Sean Hannity, offered an endorsement of mask wearing on his nightly primetime program. I was in the epicenter of this. I went to my grocery store every week. Guess what? They wore masks. Nobody at my grocery store, thank God, got coronavirus. Hannity, a close ally of the White House and confidant of the president's, said Monday. I think they work, he continued. And I said, especially if I wear a mask and it opens up baseball, concerts, NFL football, I'd rather wear the mask and go to the game to protect grandma, grandpa, mom and dad and watch the ball game. Elected Republicans as senior as Vice President Mike Pence and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell have urged Americans in recent days to wear masks outside their homes if they are unable to socially distance. But Trump remains resistant to donning a face covering during public appearances, mocking a reporter who wore one during a White House news conference last month and describing masks as a double-edged sword in an interview with the Wall Street Journal just two weeks ago. The latest entreaties by GOP officials are in response to spikes in new coronavirus cases cropping up throughout the American South, including in the nation's most populous states, California, Florida and Texas. The U.S. as a whole has similarly registered single-day records in new infections over the past week. The president has not made any marked effort to encourage mask use amid the precipitous climbs in caseloads, instead insistently emphasizing the need for a broad reopening of the national economy. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, however, argued Tuesday that personal mitigation measures such as mask wearing and frequent hand washing were helpful tools to prevent another spate of financially draining lockdown orders. For my home state, I do believe in wearing masks. I do not want to shut the economy back down, the California Republican told Fox and Friends. He also agreed with Ducey's assessment that it would be a powerful symbol for Trump to wear a mask in public. It would, McCarthy said. I mean, for the 4th of July, we could all show our patriotism with a red, white and blue mask, going out there and showing some strength. Even Donald Trump Jr., the president's eldest son, appeared to come around Tuesday to the concept of face coverings after officials in Jacksonville, the Florida city where the Republican National Convention is scheduled to be held in August, announced a mask mandate for indoor public places. I think we're going to make sure that everything is done in a safe and appropriate manner, Trump Jr. told Fox Business. You know, I don't think that it's too complicated to wear a mask or wash your hands and follow basic hygiene protocols.